Hey everybody, Zero Lightning here with a little bit of a tutorial video. I was asked if I could help set up somebody for playing DGC4, so I decided to make a general tutorial for this for people who don't know how to set it up yet and want to try out the game for themselves. Right here I'm on the video download that was made by the D uh, DKC4 team. You're going to want to go down to the description where it says download. Click that, then download the file. It's going to take a little time, but you just wait for the little bar to uh, finish up. It should finish up here at the same time when this is finished up. After that, it'll uh, it'll it'll open up automatically, but you don't have to worry about that. What you need to do next is uh, go into your downloads folder and uh, make sure you have WinRAR because you're going to need WinRAR to extract the files. Use you right click on it and you extract the files to the folder. Then inside the folder, you can start uh, getting ready to play the demo. But first, you want to go to configure controls. This will actually set your controls for uh, for the game. So this is important. You will have to be careful if uh, your if you're a virus software detects this as a virus it's not but sometimes it will so what you might want to do is uh either to uh, allow it through your program or tell it to not to, or uh shut it off temporarily anyway uh you want to go to options here you're going to see your button controls you can see the color associated with the button it's supposed to be set up like a snes controller so you click remap so you know what buttons to do. Why is your attack button and your run button just like in the original DK, DKC games? So you're going to want to keep that as a, a, on, the far, on the far left. So set it to something that you can remember that would be easy for you. You can also set it up with the, joyce, with the keyboard or the joystick. You, you want to um, accommodate for each for whatever you're using. I personally recommend a joystick, but I can understand if you want to use if you don't, you don't have one and you need to use a keyboard. So you press up, down, left, right. B is going to be your jump button, so you want to make sure you space you put this on something that you'll always be able to use really fast and easily. A is your team throw button. That's the button that uses the team throw function. And you're gonna need it, it. Also confirms a lot of things, so make sure you put this on something you're gonna remember. And last but not least, X is kind of an XP of Y. It does the same functions where uh, it, it's a it's an attack button and your dash button. Start and select should be put onto something uh, that you can remember. Start will also confirm things in the game, so you're gonna need to remember what button that is. Once you have that, you can exit and then uh, start the demo. You can speed through all of the uh, beginning credits by putting that by mashing start. And now you're ready to play. You can either press the uh, A button or the Start button to start. Remember what you've mapped them to, and now you can. Uh, now you're ready to play the game. Basically, you have everything set up, and that's everything you need. So that is how you get started on playing DKC4. I hope this tutorial was easy for you guys to follow. Please uh, sub for more content. I will be coming back really shortly. I'll be making an update video soon. And the DKC4 post-game review will be coming up soon. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Goodbye.